I'm here with Spa Mkize, who is a current candidate at Moreland University in the Teach Now Teacher Preparation Program. Spa is actually planning to enroll in one of our master's degrees in education. And it's gonna to talk to us a little bit about her journey, about how she came to Moreland, and it's gonna give us some recommendations or insights for folks considering Moreland. Thank you so much, Joey. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Well, tell us about your journey into education and what you're currently doing professionally. Okay, so my journey started off in 2019 in education. I moved to China to, um, firstly, to make money. Let me be honest. Like, I wanted to change careers to make more money in South Africa. What I was, uh, what I had studied, which was sports science, really, there weren't a lot of opportunities, and I felt really stuck. And I knew that I wanted to work with kids, but I, you know, didn't know how. And so when the opportunity to teach in China came, I kind of just grabbed it with both hands and ran. I didn't know what to expect. I had no teaching experience and it was really just myself saying I'm going to go into something new and just uh, try and uh, see what happens and when I got here I realized how much I loved teaching um, it came so naturally it definitely was something that I knew the minute I started doing it that this is like my calling I just didn't know what it would look like in the future but I kind of just you know uh, threw myself in there I started to teach for a training center thereafter I moved over to um, a kindergarten where I am now uh, mainly because of the changes in the Chinese uh, education system they encouraged us to kind of move into more public schools and, and, and kindergartens and international schools and so it was when I was in my um, now kindergarten that I realized that you know I have to start to have something that is backing up my experience because now I've got over four years teaching in China and I realized I don't have any weights to show and I don't have anything to show for it um in as much as you know the experience is great but you know uh schools and and uh, possible employers are gonna want to know what education I have and what experience uh do I have to back up with with what I have with practical experience so um Going into it, that has been kind of my journey to Moreland. Like, where do I want to go with my career? And I had to find a school that would accommodate my schedule and accommodate my needs and also just uh, the non-traditional way of uh, learning. And I think that for me was one of the things that stood out for, for me is that um, I would become a 21st century teacher. And that was like, whoa, because what does that look like? And that is now in the 21st century, tech, a techno savvy teacher, someone who's aware of what they're doing, knows their children, knows that learning is not the same for everyone and just a number of things. And so that has been kind of my journey with education and why um, I decided to kind of start to work and, and, and study with Moreland. Thrilling to hear that you have leaned so fully into our mission and into the philosophies that we integrate throughout our curriculum, in addition to seeking certification, which is an important part of the journey for many teachers. I wonder, how has your work with Moreland University impacted your teaching today? Oh my gosh, tremendously. I think one of the amazing things I love is that a lot of the stuff that we learn in the VCs, VCs is, if for those of you who don't know, our actual lectures, um, uh, is that I can take that stuff that I'm learning and like immediately uh, the next day apply it into my classroom practically. And that for me was always like something that I worried about when doing education or doing a teaching degree online is that how am I going to do the practicals? How are they going to like manage it? How am I going to manage this? And so how it was just like so easily um, transferred over and how I was able to take it. And they were giving us practical ways to apply that um, in the classroom. Another thing was just really being able to have other people that are like me in terms of teaching in China or ex um, teaching ESL around the world to share best practice with. That is something that I don't take for granted. Um, we are currently doing practicals right now and I'm getting my peer reviews and you know my peers are giving me some really good inputs and some really good feedback. And it comes from a good place. And so I know that it's not malicious. It's something that they can see that this is gonna help me grow. Um, and so that for me has been one of the really important things. So that when going into something like teaching and wanting to do a teaching degree online, you really, you know, the traditional way of it is that you have to be there. You have to be with your lecturer. They have to watch you. They they really, uh, what I like is that they, Moreland has really found a way to make virtual learning um, um, collaborative and, um, you know, the discussions are constant 
constantly going. It's not just on the VC. We have each other on WeChat and other platforms. So um, that element to it has been really created a safe space for me going into it because I was really worried um, just having a little bit of imposter syndrome because, you know, you, I've never done any teaching. And so having, you know, people watch me and having my uh, VC, I mean, to present things was also just like, am I, uh, do I have every right to be here? And then slowly but surely you you kind of find your own voice and everyone has their own voice and we all just kind of share with each other so it really has been for me an awakening and just confidence booster um also in the classroom just you know I'm a really good teacher and having that confidence to say that you know so yeah that's been a really amazing journey for me well you speak so eloquently to the importance of community and how community and impacts learning here at Moreland University. And I wonder what has been the impact of your cohort and the larger Moreland community on your learning journey here at Moreland University in the Teach Now Teacher Preparation Program? So sure. I think, you know, that is something that was quickly established in our cohort from the beginning. What I love about us is that um, we're all over, like I said, and we've found a way to hold each other accountable and to help each other and to um, encourage each other, but most importantly, to, to vent when you want to vent, but I am exhausted, I am this. And so the levels to um, our cohort has also just given me some, some sort of ability to be vulnerable and to not feel like I have to always have it together. And that is something I don't take for granted because I think at the end of the day, teaching is, you know, um, it can be a lot. And um, as teachers, for us to have a space where we can share best practice, but also share how exhausting or share how, you know, these kids have been doing this and how do I manage this? And um, that overall gives me that ability to know that, you know, wherever I'm, I am at and I hear someone who's at, who studied at Teach Now or with Moland, I know that, hey, I can be like, hey, how far are you? What did you do? Like, we can share, like, what cohort number were you? Uh, who are your lecturers? Um, so that for me is also given me that sense of in as much as it's virtual, it's still very much community. Um, it's funny because there's a group here in China that we have um, that is for Moland graduates. And I'm already in that group, but hey, you know, and we share uh, job careers and um, uh, job vacancies and things like that. So that has also been amazing because I'm like, wow, there's like 200 of us in that group. And uh, in there, we share how to get your license, documentations, things like that. And so when I look at it in the bigger picture, it's like, sure, I've really gained a community of um, alumni that I can have for the rest of my life and wherever I go in the world, because we are you know, international teachers, I could, you know, meet someone like, did you go to Moorland? Yeah, I went to Moorland. So it can be, you know, uh, a forever thing. So I really love that about that. Yeah. I'd love to ask as a final question, what recommendations or insights would you share with folks who are considering Moreland University? Okay, so I'm going to talk to the people like me, because I feel like there's a lot of us in South Africa that, you know, or in China who are South Africans that really um, want to up their career and get some qualifications to back up the experience. Because like I said, um, you know, a lot of what's happening here in China is that we're moving towards international schools, public schools, primary schools, kindergartens are slowly getting kind of um, filtered out in terms of having ESL. And uh, for, for me, I think the biggest thing I can recommend is that if you are somebody who wants, um, who real, who's realized that you want to teach forever and it's going to be your thing and you want to be able to work around the world and not um, be limited to just ESL, this is the place for you. I think make sure that you have your degree with you, especially just those simple things that you don't think about, all your documentations with you. Definitely start to have that get those preps ready but most importantly um figure out um why you want to teach and then when you have your why I think anything that you study you're just going to continue through it whatever um challenges that you face because you know I have my own little challenges along the way and it was really difficult but I think because I had my why I could kind of just uh push through it and um 
Um, I know with virtual learning, it can be very difficult because, you know, you don't have to go somewhere for your lecture. So you can get a little, oh, I'll just join next week. Um, but I think one of the things that kept me going was that I knew my why. I knew why I wanted to do it and uh, what it was going to do for my career. And so figure out uh, why you want to do it and where you want to go with your career. Um, I know because with ESL learning, it's it's very much driven. The, the, the driving factor rather is the money factor. You know, the money is great. Uh, but what is the impact that you're making and how are you going to look back and say, okay, this is uh, what I did and this is where I studied and this is what I was able to do. So when going into Moreland, I think one of the bigger things is that really figure out why you're doing it, where you're going with it and how and what opportunities they're going to open for you and have your papers ready. Definitely read up about that. Um, it was a lot for me, but I was able to figure it out Um but yeah, I think that you guys have created such an awesome, um, you know, admin staff that really are on it. And so even when I was falling short, you guys were emailing me like, what's going on? Where are you with this? Da, da, da. So it was really um, amazing. So rest assured that you have a team of staff. Molan has a team of staff that will help you along the way, but also yourself figure out what you want to do and where you want to go with it, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah. Spa, it's been such a joy to talk to you today, and I appreciate the work you're doing to impact students in your school and now to uplift our community here. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you, Joey. Thank you. Bye.